This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Cream Fantasy. This recipe was submitted by T. Kill Virus, who submitted like 10 recipes that day. So, you'll probably see that name come up again. If you have a real name, like Bob, Jill, Andy, whatever, you just let us know, and we can use that instead. Uh, the recipe includes two ounces of dark rum, one ounce of Bailey's caramel. So, you've got your caramel Irish cream, Godiva white chocolate, or any other white chocolate liqueur, but you're gonna probably find very few. Half ounce of milk, we got that over here, so we've got our second second milk cocktail. And, oddly, a splash of lime. So my splash of lime is gonna be that. I think that is a, never mind. <laughs> top with a splash of lime. Nothing, I'm tired. I was gonna say, that is a lemon. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, that is a lime, but I you thought you You actually had me questioning whether I was supposed to be a lemon or lime, but it's- No, lime. it's lime, it's lime. but- you were saying lime. I was hearing lemon. I was seeing lime. <laughs> so your brain was all screwed up. Yes. So very. part for the course. This is what we're using. We're using uh, some black strap rum. You could use another good one is Black Seal from Gosling's. Uh, hey, you know what I found out in Bermuda? Myers's Bermuda rum. They have dark and stormies already together, like in a in a can. Like the alcohol already with the ginger beer. That means bad. That's like over marketing. And also they have... Uh, they can't be nearly as good as the Darkest Story made nice and fresh. Rum swizzles that way too. Rum swizzle. We, we I guess it. they're geared towards the tourists. Makes it easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're going to make rum... Sw- I mean, if I went to a bar and ordered a Darkest Story and they were like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. I mean, we are, the, we are the Jersey Shores <laughs> of Common Man Cocktail we Shows. Of... But um, that's that's even beyond me. Because she was trying to explain what ginger beer was what to do you mean? people that don't have a clue. Didn't yeah, didn't really like ginger ale, but yeah, that's basically what she said, like more more ginger ginger ale. <laughs> yeah, it's a hot, spicy, non-alcoholic beer. Right, I said, but it's no alcohol because the name is beer, so you right. think it has alcohol. Well, at least. But nice. nay. No, I don't think any of it does. I guess they could maybe well, make no, it. I'm thinking, uh, at least us here have the inclination of hearing beer and associating oh, it yeah. with alcohol. No, I think I think most people would do that. Probably. I don't like to generalize. No. Too widely. <laughs> Generalization is fun. I love generalizing because it's so ridiculous. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's awesome. Here we go. It's cold. Oh. Hey, guess what? It's ice in there? It's brown. It is brown, isn't it? Based on the color of this glass. What are you going to do? Drink it. Whoa. I'm going to get over crazy on the ice. We won't have any room for the good stuff. So, I'm going to make a suggestion here. If you're going to top it, but you're going to give this to somebody to drink, like you're going to make six of them, wait until the very last point to do this part. Because I guarantee you, without any good reason why, uh, just based on past experience, but when you add cream and you take lemon or citrus or any of this and you put it in there, it turns into buttermilk within 15 minutes. So, what you want to do is... Do it quick, because that's where you probably get the taste. And shoot. It's going to look weird. I wouldn't shoot this, but definitely um, wouldn't leave it in there too long, because they will, it will break down curl. that. It'll curl. In short, you can get some crazy, not so exciting looks to what is already a very unexciting look. Kind of a nasty look. Yeah. And then it makes it a nasty taste, even though it doesn't really taste any different. It's just kind of... This one's not curdling right now or anything. It's still nice and got a nice foamy head, and it's got like your lemon caramel flavor, which is Lime. weird. Lime. Lime caramel flavor. Oh, 
Cream fantasy. They're creamy. Oh, yeah. However, I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The lime... The lime doesn't really help. I think it's distracting from some of the flavors. And considering what you have in here, you're getting your caramel. The lime is very distracting. You get the caramel and the cream. You're not really getting any milk. That's probably just to build out the body. The dark rum, it's not really a huge impact. You get it like as you're breathing and, it, and you know, you get that, the alcohol taste. You're getting some of that dark, sweeter rum. I don't know. I just don't think... I'm not that excited. I find that the lime is a bit distracting and you're losing some of the appreciation, I think, even for the white, for the Godiva. Half chocolate of Godiva and half chocolate, uh, half half of this, this white white chocolate, with half milk, you're basically diluting the awesome flavors of the Godiva. The Godiva, I think, should be more or, or, or just replace it instead of using milk altogether. I, I just, not huge on this drink, which is unfortunate because it's a milk-based, creamy drink. It's just missing some flavor, and it's got some distracting lime. But I am not everybody. You may find this drink to be the best thing on earth. That is why you need to go try it. And tell us what you think. Leave us comments. And you can, you know, put them out on everydaydrinkers.tv, facebook.com slash cocktail TV, YouTube, wherever you want. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Teaching you how to drink.